انا اسفه طلع الفيديو كتير طويل وما انتبهت اوكي نكمل for protection so احنا عندنا ال advanced IDS techniques هاي بعض like one of the techniques for protection is stream reassembly uh, it follow connections and sessions traffic normalization see the protocols are followed يعني uh, uh, like like if if um, a system has uh, a set of protocols then you know an intruder wants to make a different protocol then it's detected and Bayesian networks data mining and decision networks um, graphical IDS uh, uses graphs to model attacks and uh, feature equality heuristics uh, port stepping packet gap recognition genetic programming human immune systems and tons of research systems exist okay so these are just يعني, uh, advanced techniques that are used for protection يعني, what is this genetic programming well the name is scary shadow human immune systems okay <laughs> احنا مناعتنا عم تنقص من اللقاح وهم عم يحطوا المناعة جوا الكمبيوترات So it feature equality heuristics like port stepping, packet gap recognition Okay And for attacks في عنا evasion methods um, like fragmentation and mutation IDS trashing so denial of service tools to like stick or not to crash IDS capability um, okay so take them as is so to, how can if you want to go and buy an intrusion detection system يعني, we have to learn this we have a type 1 error which is a false negative يعني, like we said before there's an attack but is not detected and type 2 error is also bad which is a false positive so there's no intrusion but there's an intrusion being detected يعني, there's an alarm action being made blocking packets and there's no attack okay يعني, take this example يعني, if you're a company and uh, like you're selling clothes and one day you decide to make a really big sale يعني, تصفيه. so then the traffic is different you know in that day so it can block some traffic this is bad you know a type 2 error false positive this is bad it can block good customers you know evaluation how to measure so to measure the IDS uh, efficiency we have the rock I think rock is there's curve inside of rock so I can't say rock curve <laughs> I think so the rock curve receiver operating characteristics Curve analysis, uh, detection rate versus false or alarm rate. What else? Efficiency, cost. Yeah, يعني all of these things you can take into account. Yeah, يعني efficiency. Like for example, does it slow down your system? And يعني if if you need, uh, يعني a very slow system. No one likes a very slow system. If the IDS compromises your your system, then but no one wants. That, يعني. and how how costly is it? يعني does it is it worth it? You know. So this is a rock curve. Uh, this is the detection rate, hundred percent, zero percent. So we want to be here. 
detection rate, high, high detection rate. But we also have a false alarm, you know, rate. So it can detect all the attacks, but maybe it can also detect um, false, uh, yani false alarm. Yani maybe it can detect an attack which is not really an attack. And even if it has a hundred percent detection rate, we do not want any false alarm. So we want this the x axis to be in the zero and the detection rate to be in the hundred percent, which is impossible. But okay, maybe in the future I will create some possible one anyway. Next generation IDS. Okay, we have the adaptive, so it learns and detects new intrusion, which is good because, uh, yani, okay, we can detect old ones, but we also want to prevent new attacks that are being created new. Anyway, uh, scenario based, which uh, correlates all the data and attack information. Um, I guess this one means that if it, if an, an attack is detected on one device, then it will be blocked on all of the devices, like hundreds of devices. Yani, it, it, uh, yani this is what I understand. I'm not sure if I'm right or not. Yani, from what I remember, the doctor was explaining. So I think... And it should be cost sensitive. So, so it, yani imagine, مثلا, a really expensive company, let's say Apple, uh, will sell you a really expensive device, even though it does not have lots of features or lots of extra features. So, why is it more expensive? So, it's not really cost sensitive to the operations it has. It's just. Um, expensive yani al fadi yani okay so we want a model that okay is more expensive but at the same time it's it's more uh, efficient dramatically configure ids components for best protection cost performance okay dynamically configure ids component components i guess yani we should like change it for the best <laughs> sorry adaptive ids so we have an id uh, intrusion detection modeling engine semi-automatic uh takes in like some anomaly data and gives back some uh, models and gives ID models, ID models. Uh, okay. يعني هذا الكمبيوتر it's taken in data, anomaly data, and giving all the computers some models. Semi-automatic generation of ID models. Okay, this is also explaining the previous picture. So it takes in raw audit data and makes it into packets. Then it does some data mining and creates some patterns and makes features and stuff like that. Patterns is for the misuse and features is for the anomaly but here it just says anomaly so Allah yustur ya rab akun fahme so connection session records then it gives but then it's learning you know it takes in the features and patterns and then learns I and mean, this is how machine learning is it takes in patterns and features and learns and then it creates models. Semi-automatic generation of ID models. This is how ID models are generated. Okay, so this is a generation of ID models. Okay. Ah, okay. So, 
misuse detection and anomaly data. Mm. First of all, it gives them misuse detection, any patterns. Then uh, the anomaly detection creates some features. Then these features are sent to the semi-automatic generator and then creates models. Okay. So patterns turn into features, turn into models. Patterns turn into features, turn into models. An adaptive IDS architecture. So, um, first of all, dynamic cost sensitive decision making. Oh, okay, first we start. Uh, where do we start from? Quickly. Quick and dirty. What's FW? Okay, quick and dirty. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the first stage will be just quick, yani fast detection. I think, yani fast anal analysis of the data, yani. Yani, you know there's traffic of data, right? So it doesn't take the data and then stop and then analyze it. No, no, no. no it's just just monitors really quickly and just really quick. It doesn't do any real analysis. But the IDS, real-time IDS, is best effort in real time. So it takes in the data, it checks it and does some work. Backend IDS is thorough and slow scenario trend. So this is could be bad. The the even though thorough and slow is good for detection, but it could be bad for the system. It could make it not very efficient. I mean, if it's too slow. Uh, so then we have the cost sensitive decision making. Yani, this is, I guess, the fast one. It should be cheaper. Anyway, uh, okay. Finally, we have the conclusion. <laughs> IDS are needed since your network will be infiltrated eventually. I guess uh, what this means is, uh, he was saying, and uh, it's not a it's not a matter of uh, why how or um يعني, يعني everyone knows we're gonna die okay هذا مثال كتير قبيح بس هو هيك الدكتور حكى it's not a matter of how we die or if we're gonna die okay this is the right one if it's not a matter of if we're gonna die, it's a matter of when are we gonna die. This is the same thing. Uh, it's not a matter of if you're gonna be compromised, your device is gonna be compromised, it's when, you know? So, types of IDS are detection rationale and network or system placement. Uh, and we have advanced ideas okay did we even study this anyway you can go uh, have your lunch and uh, your coffee